Hello, today we're going to build a quick formative assessment on volcanoes using Smart Response 2. This is a great way to assess student understanding with results that you can save. Students respond at their desks with their device, so you are saving yourself a trip to the copy machine while still keeping students engaged. Building an assessment with Smart Response 2 is very quick and easy. All you have to do is click on the Smart Response 2 icon on the toolbar. And then here you can choose the type of question that you want. So to start off, I'm going to do a multiple choice question. As you can see here, I added the question and the responses here. Now I actually added a image as well, just to help with the question. You can do this by either clicking and choosing a file to upload, or you can uh, choose a file from your desktop, drag it and drop it here. So for my next question, I actually decided to do another multiple choice and ask a regular question here with no images. And then here are my responses. As you can see here, for this last question, I decided to do an open answer. To do this, you can actually choose from this drop down, short answer, and click in your question. And then that way students can answer any way they want. And you can have all the answers pop up on the screen, or you could even have a pick collage to see all the responses. For this example, we are all done adding all of the different questions. So now that we're done, we're going to click on next and then go ahead and click on finish. And now the activity is ready to, to get started. All students have to do is go to classlab.com and then type in this number and they are ready to go. When all the students are logged in, all you have to do is click on start activity and then the students will be prompted on their devices to get started. You can see as they go on this tracker right here, and you can also click on show questions and see the progress that students are doing and even see the live results if you would like. Thanks for watching.